The calm between Israel and Lebanon seems to be holding for now, less than a few days after one of the worst cross-border flare-ups in the past few years. Hezbollah terror forces launched a volley of anti-tank missiles towards Israeli positions, prompting massive Israeli return fire. And with its mandate recently renewed, United Nations Interim Forces in Lebanon, or UNIFIL, say that while they're concerned by this week's conflict, they're hopeful that they can maintain the fragile pause in hostilities. UN Secretary General Spokesperson Stefan Dujaric also then calls on all parties to, quote, display maximum restraint and cease violations to Resolution 1701, which ended the Second Lebanon War and formed the Blue Line along the border. Not everyone agrees with UNIFIL's assessment, though as the IDF publishes damaging satellite photos from above Lebanon that reportedly show Hezbollah's precision missile manufacturing campus. And located in the Beka Valley, the campus allegedly comes complete with a logistics area, an engine production area, an explosives and warhead manufacturing plant, and of course, a quality assurance building. But if true, the existence of this missile production area also flies in the face of earlier claims made by Hezbollah. In fact, just on Saturday, Hezbollah chief Nasrallah argued that there are no such factories and that claims to their existence are just lies and pretexts that Prime Minister Netanyahu adopts to carry out aggressions. Well, Netanyahu, for his part, has a message of his own, as at the weekly cabinet meeting, the Israeli leader again iterates Israel's willingness and right to defend itself, while also praising the rest of the Arab world for slowly coming around against Iranian aggressions.